tutorial, we'll see how to like make a search inside the REST API dynamically and in real time. So for this example, I will use the EMDB API. So it's an API to fetch movies, TV shows, I mean, everything from the EMDB website and specifically this endpoint to search for movies. So everything I will show here depends on this API, but obviously it's applicable to all other APIs. Depends because some API will use certain parameters or other, other parameters. So, but let's follow along and I think you'll get it. So here I have three parameters. One is optional, lang. So I won't use it. And I have to provide my API key and the expression. So what was searched by the user. And for this specific API, you can see that everything is in the URL, but we'll see that in WeWeb. If the parameters would uh, uh, be fields inside the post request or query string parameters and stuff like that, you can also use them and bind them uh, to dynamic values inside WeWeb. So what I'll do is that I copy this URL. So this is a specific URL to search for Inception, the movie, and we'll change it after to match our search. So to do this, I will go into collections, add a collection. Uh, <coughs> let's call it EMDB movies. It's a dynamic uh, from REST API, a yeah, dynamic one. Sorry. And is it a get? I think it's a get. Yeah, it's a get. So here I will paste the URL and make sure that it works. Sometimes you can take a bit of time because EMDB API is a bit lazy. <laughs> but here it works and you see that in the results I have like the movies containing Inception inside their titles. So also these movies, they seems to be in a results key. So what I do is that I will scope we web collection to the results key to directly have the movies and not like the metadata. So let's wait for it. And yeah, it's working great. So now let's say we want to add a search. So I've added here the search, but before to show to showcase you that the search works, I will display the data from the collection. So here on my collection list, I will bind it to EMDB movies, then use the title, the description. It's not the description, sorry, it's this is the description. And here I will use the image of the movie. So yeah, like I have the Inception movies for the specific API call. And you know, I want to make it dynamic according to what I type in inside this search bar. So this is a classic search bar that you can find in the toolkit. So here, for example, search search bar. And what I'll do is that I'll create a variable containing the results of this search bar um, inside WeWeb. So to do this, I will create a search expression variable of type string and the default value will be inception, save. And now what I have to do is that Every time I search, so by clicking on the search bar, I will create a workflow and I will update this value to what the user has typed inside the search bar. So update search um, expression on submit update variable. So here change variable value search expression and I want it to be equivalent to the value of the search bar. Okay. And one last thing to do is to refetch movies. So every time there's a search, I want uh, WeWeb to refetch 
EMDB's API to update the content of the API call. So here, uh, fetch collection and the collection is EMDB movies. So refetch movies. Okay, now that I've got it, I've done it, it won't work. Why? Because we didn't use the variable inside the collection. To do this, we have to go to data collections and update this API call. And here, as you saw in the um, EMDB's API um, documentation, we have to change the variable inside the URL. So we'll use, we'll bind the, specific, the, the URL here. But the thing is, some APIs use headers, query string to send um, like search uh, variables or IDs and that kind of things um, to know what to filter on. So you can obviously use headers and query strings here, and it will be the same logic because you can bind everything. Okay, but here, let's just use the URL. And one we want to, what we want to do is that we want to concatenate here the first part of the URL, so this one, copy, paste, and we want to remove the value inception. Why? Because here we'll concatenate it with the value from the variable. So here it's still inception because that's what I typed uh, as a default value in the variable. So if I hit continue, I should get the same movies. Okay. Yeah, so basically almost the same. But because yeah, I type uh, like uppercase I and EMDB's API is like, yeah, it's different, but I mean, depends on the API, but it's working. And what's cool now is that because we update this variable every time there's a search, let me show it to you like here, there's the search expression um, variable because we update it every time there's a search in uh, like typed by the user, it will update the value of the URL and then we will, we will refetch this collection based on the new URL and like the API call will change basically. So that if I do the matrix, I hit search, you see that here now the search expression is the matrix and it's kind of slow here because it's like EMDB's API is really slow, but you see that it changed and now I have all the results for the, mat the matrix. You can do the same with, for example, the Patriot 2000. So yeah, the value here was updated and voila, the collection is updated too. So that's how you do dynamic search uh, inside a REST API collection. And remember that it's really different from API to API, but the thing is that you can bind the URL, the headers, the query string, I mean, everything to make your API call dynamic.